We're in the dock. Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. I'll get my driver's, driver's license. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. What do Imperials sound like? Like that, a bit British? The basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift drive use. This sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Oh. Oh, okay. Auto launch. Oh. Auto, auto. Auto, oh, it's spacebar. <laughs> That's cool. Mouse three to exit head look mode. So skinny, it's like in real life. <laughs> oh, I love the sound in this game. Is very immersive. Remarkable, isn't it? For so long, humanity gazed up at the stars in wonder. We're not distracted by one of Earth's many wars, and now we glide between them without a second thought. It's Saturn. Ah, here we are. Your first task is to demonstrate basic ship movements. A ship's trajectory is primarily controlled by pitch, yaw, and roll. Perform each of these now. Oh, I'm rolling. A to yaw. Inputs confirmed. Looks like you've got the hang of individual controls. Let's see if you can put them all together. Your next task is to guide your ship through a series of checkpoints. Head towards the course, yeah. following the target indicator. The course weaves through an orbital structure and is designed for the novice pilot. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. Fly through the center of the first checkpoint. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls. Oh. A little... <laughs> not quite used to flying with the mouse. I keep spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling and pitching together is the most efficient way of turning rapidly. Everyone aboard this ship, which is probably just me, has... Motion sickness. Oh no! Did you crash? <laughs> yeah. Did you die? No. Yeah. It's all about smooth. It's good practice to consider movements. the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. Wait, smooth, smooth mouth movements. Don't, don't panic! Don't panic! Oh. <laughs> I'm... 
gonna get there. You're approaching a particularly sharp turn, oh, so I advise slowing down to prevent any mishaps. Don't crash, don't panic. Oh, I made it. Holy. Okay, we're, we're doing it. This ship turns, I mean, rolls. So easy. Yeah. <laughs> Tab to boost. Whoa! That's the last checkpoint. The Sidewinder is an agile craft, and you handled it well. You're going to use your ship's data link scanner to analyze the beacon, but you need to deploy hard points first. Okay. Uh, you to deploy hard point. Oh. Good. Most external modules are installed on hard points, including weapons. Control is back with you. The beacon is relatively small, so you'll need to position yourself close to it. Is that white marker the beacon? Watch your speed here. We intend to scan the objects, not become one with it. <laughs> oh shit. It's right there, okay. And the beacon. Oh. Well done. The data link scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment, pilot. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frame shift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. Retracting hard points. When you're ready, throttle up and engage super cruise. Throttle up. Engaging super cruise. Drive charging. Later, nerds. All readouts look good. You're now accelerating towards a velocity comparative to the speed of light, measured in C. Light speed. Supercruise is used to navigate within a star system, allowing you to cover significant distances in minutes. Usually you'll retain control in Supercruise, but on this occasion your ship's computer is following a preset path. Ah, there we go. Welcome to light speed. Watch the distance and speed markers on the dashboard. These are used to help you accurately disengage at your destination. Oh, uh, when do I disengage? <laughs> uh, I'm passing the Dromi 2. Dromi? Dromi? I'm still in the target. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Oh! I'm here. The frame shift drive is disengaged. Welcome to the combat zone. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy uh, the uh, safety's off. Uh, laser! Oh. All weapons have an effective range, so you may need to move closer here. Pew pew! I got too close. Achieved. 
Let's dial up a challenge note, shall we? Your target will not react until it registers shield damage. Engage when ready. See, I can see his trajectory. Frame shift, right? Oh, hard point. Retract hard points. Engaging FSD. <laughs> this is so much to remember. Here I go. This is trippy. <laughs> Whoa, it's the sun! Technology has made the task of leaping between star systems appear trivial. Never let the simplicity distract from the marvel humanity has achieved. Your next stop is Quello Station. This time we'll employ the Supercruise Assist module to guide your approach. With the destination selected, throttle up and aim towards your target. The compass to the left of the sensor display will help you orient yourself. Okay. Good. Your ship is now bound for Quello Station. Here I go. The trails moving around you are FSD wakes. Your ship is also emitting one. The position of each correlates with their respective sensor display icons. In a moment, we'll be going through the docking process. This will cover docking permissions and a standard landing pad approach. And this is so much information. I'm not retaining any of it. <laughs> Whoa! Welcome to Quillow Station. This is the final stretch. Request docking. I'm definitely not going to remember that. <laughs> the music. Cool. The docking computer will now demonstrate like a safe landing procedure. Let's review what it's doing. Landing gear must be deployed. The related dashboard indicator lights up if this has been done. Landing gear deployed. The sensor display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. I've landed. Congratulations, Commander. Your evaluation has been successful, and a license is being assigned to you as I speak. Oh, nice, I got my license. We just need to finalize your credentials. Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. Uh, select enter hangar. Go to hangar. It's time to blaze your own trail across the galaxy. The manner in which you do so 
It's up to you. <laughs> Can I use your bathroom real quick? <laughs> oh, cool. I'll wait, I'll wait for you to get to this part. Okay. <laughs> the distinct feeling I have is that I killed the pilot that was supposed to be doing this and I have zero training. <laughs> Like, I, I murdered the man who was supposed to do this, took his identity, and now I'm just allowed to be on a spaceship. <laughs> oh, the year's 3307. Yep, uh, I'm naming it Pacific Kaiju. I'm, like, really old. <laughs> really old? <laughs> and my ship ID plate is gonna be Subawu. It's a Subawu. <laughs> 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 Let's go! Loading game. Welcome to your new ship, Commander. Your pilot's Federation license has been issued, and you're free to traverse the galaxy as an independent pilot. <sighs> Launch. Good luck and fly safe, Commander. Here I go. You've been issued with the serious system permit. Okay. I know things now. Okay, so I'm here. How do I hand it in? <laughs> Starport services. Mission board, there it is. Okay. I got 10,000 credits. Well done, Commander. You've proven that you can travel between systems and navigate the mission board. From this point on, you'll be choosing your own missions. A variety of contracts are available throughout the galaxy that require a skilled pilot. <laughs> require a skilled pilot, that's not me. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find one, but uh. Also provides a wealth of advice on most professions. I look forward to watching your progress, Commander. Make us proud. This is Theo Costa, signing off. We need you to mine units of Rut Rutelli Rutile. Rutile. Using a mining laser and a refine. Do I have a mining laser? Um. <laughs> How do I mine? <laughs> Where to mine? Asteroid belt clusters or planetary rings? Frameshift drive charging. Do I just go towards the ring maybe? I think so. Three, two, one, engage. Right. Whoa. I guess I just go towards the rocks. We'll get there eventually. Oh, I found Rutile. Okay, so it is here. Can I mention that I don't know what I'm doing? Rutile. 